I was 18, I graduated from high school and I went to the New York Goofs in um, Manhattan and I was taught by Dick Monday and Hubby Burgess and um, lots, of, lots of circus goodness, people that you definitely want to be learning from. And after that I went to Philadelphia and I was there for a year and a half at the Art Institute of Philadelphia for okay. graphic design. And I got a little bit tired of that and was getting the itch for performing, so I moved out to Los Angeles. Out in LA, I uh, worked at Universal Studios. I was a performer there. And I uh, was also doing extra work um, for TV shows and things like that. And uh, <laughs> I was also Peter Pan at Disneyland. <laughs> All right. I was a friend of Peter Pan. And that was also a really great uh, building block for, for my career. Um, I joined the show in 2009. I auditioned when I was out in Los Angeles. It was the first year that Nicole Feld and Alana Feld were producing the show. Um, they were actually at the audition and they hand selected me themselves. Um, for that audition, for whatever reason, the talent scout wasn't there. Um, he was probably off in China or Russia or somewhere. Um, you know, looking for some extraordinary act, so it was actually pretty special for me to be selected by the producers. Um, I feel like I've got a great relationship with them now, and they like having me around, so. <laughs> I like being here too. I get to work side by side with 11 of my best friends, so that is something that's really, really special for myself, and I would, I would say that the other clowns know really think of us as a family because we don't get to see our our folks as often as we'd like to you know fortunately enough the show goes to New Jersey uh, for a couple weeks so I get to go uh, my family to come out then um, but for the most part we really you know learn to love you know the people that we're working with we live on the same train car together you know we put our makeup on next to one another every single day so we're very 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 close. Um, there are definitely days where we don't get along, but those are the days that make our relationships a lot stronger. Um, having to work, you know, having to perform by somebody that maybe you were just having a little tick with backstage um, certainly is an interesting way to learn how to work with people, and, but it, it, it makes our performance much, much stronger in the end, you know, what works and what doesn't work, and you learn to you learn to love your family even on the day when they're ticking you off. Um, I'm excited to be back uh, for the 142nd edition of the Greatest Show on Earth. My look this year is a uh, I want to say character clown, but I've got a goose makeup. I've got a blue wig and a blue top and blue shoes and blue pants and blue in my makeup, so if you see anything blue, probably me. Um, what kind of questions do you got for me? What color yeah. Hey, that's blue. <laughs> how, do you, how, do you like, how do you like living in your shoe, shoebox of a room? Um, you know, you adapt to whatever space you're living in. Um, you know, when I was living in LA, I was very fortunate enough. I had a nice big apartment with, you know, my flat screen TV on the wall and my big couch and everything. And you forget about, you know, what you had because we have so many opportunities and we're, we get so much when we're on the road that we're so busy and we're performing all the time that we don't even get to spend as much time at the train as you would think. Um, when we're on the train the most is when we're traveling from one city to another, and that's our rest time. So we're usually asleep in our bunk and you know get rested. So when the train gets there, we're we're ready to go again. But uh, I think everybody loves the train. It's one of the best parts of the job. It it makes an adventure no matter where you go, and people come out to see the train and take pictures and. You know, it's over a mile long, you know, to catch that, you'd think you'd, you'd see a lot more often than people do, but when they see the circus train, it's always something that's very magical for, for people to see, because a lot of people don't even believe that that's how we still travel. Yeah? Do you still have the opportunity, I don't know, it's been probably five years since we, we talked to the guys and gals that came around, and they were always talking about the, the pack car and business if they do get extra work and so forth, uh, if, 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 if
Yeah, we, uh, we have the option to pick up what we call a cherry pie job, which is an additional job in on top of clowning. Um, the cherry pie job that I, that we all do a 